Hey guys, Nick Ritchie here. Someone just uh, wrote in, I hate the scales, what's an alternative? Okay, awesome question. Because not only are you saying, uh, are you sharing what is actually your challenge with, but you're asking for a opportunity to find other things that you can help you to move forward. So, what I'd like to share with you is first of all, um, scales, if you, if you are gonna use them, then maybe use them once a week or once a fortnight. Um, I don't recommend that people use the scales typically as a general. I recommend you throw them out. In my house, we don't have any scales, but that's just what works for us. Um, other alternatives. So let me just share with you quickly that when it comes to, let's say, clothes shopping and fitting in your clothes and clothes sizes, here's a, here's a key. Now, you can walk into one clothing store, and inside of that clothing store, there can be 10 different brands, and in every brand, if you pick up a size 12, in X brand and then you pick up a size 12 in Y brand, chances are those two brands and the size 12 in each brand are actually different sizes. So the size 12 in X brand may be more like a size 14 in Y brand. So what I recommend that you do is to, if you're going to focus on uh, clothing sizes and, and as that is, that is a result of improving the health of your body, then I'd recommend that you focus on one store, one label, and just focus on that one size that you would like to move your body to. Let's say that you're 50 or 100 pounds overweight, that you've been neglecting your health for a long time and you know that you need to take action and to really do something about it, then uh, if you're setting a goal, a really good idea is to set, say, a clothing goal, and you set that clothing goal within the same store and the same label and the same size, so that, and you of course um, go and do my goal setting workshop at nickrichielive.com on the free video page, so click the link below to go to that. What, what I recommend you do is you focus on that one particular area. Other ways to, to measure what your body's doing is another one that I think is sometimes useful, um, but not too often, is uh, measure tapes. So measuring your girth measurements, um, so that's measurements around your chest, arms, waist, uh, hips, thighs, um, shoulders, etc. And so that will also gauge changes to the body, but I think a fortnight or a monthly is useful for those ones. Um, but in saying that, it's also not the be all end all too. So there's a lot of different changes that can happen in the body that don't always show up with clothing or with measurements or with scales. Um, and there's, there are some other ways, but I would say personally that those are probably some of the, some of the better more healthy balanced ways is um, the clothing size because it gives you a lot of flexibility day to day, week to week, and you don't have to kind of play with your head with it. So psychologically, it's more balanced. Um, and then you've also got the girth measurement. So once a fortnight or once a month, you know, you're wrapping a tape measure around, noticing just some of the subtle changes. If your waist is over, say, 40 or 36 inches or so, um, some doctors consider that as metabolic damage or, or having um, metabolic issues, and that later can lead to, to some illness. So. If you're struggling with like waist size and you're kind of been neglecting your health for a while and your body's kind of bigger in certain areas than you'd like it to be, then using the measurements and the clothing sizes in the way that I've described, I think is probably the best way to improve your health and to gauge that as far as body size goes. So I hope this has been a, a useful video for you. Jump on to nickrichielive.com to grab more free videos and of course join our group on Facebook. Catch you soon. See ya.